hi guys in this video i'm gonna show you how i created this whole human tree art with photoshop stick around watch as i create this magic this photo i do takes a lot of practice nah don't sweat don't panic i'ma break it all down nah. welcome back my name is Dari, the creator i'm a digital art designer living in lagos nigeria thank you so much for joining me on this channel and if you're watching me for the first time, I'd like to say a big welcome to you. On this channel, I always like to share my thought process as I create digital art. If this is something you find interesting, then you're in the right place, my friend. All you have to do is help me smash that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Guys, please help me hit that like button. I need that for the algorithm. Please, I need that. Thank you. Okay, today we're going to be looking at how I created this surreal artwork. I call this character the Happy Groot. The idea came to me when I was having a conversation with a very close friend of mine and we were talking about how the older generation are kind of like there's a little bit of disconnect from the modern society and I just thought I thought to do something for the older folks. It's going to be more of a speed art basically that I'll be sharing with you guys but I'll try to do as many breakdowns as I can. That's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Let's get into it now that we're in photoshop first thing you want to do is to create a new document we set our width to 1080 and our height is 1350 our resolution remains 300 and we set our bits as 16. now let's give our document a title we'll call this one the hold human tree cool create artboard and now we can bring in our image boom now let's make him a little bigger Okay, now this work quickly, I like to just convert it into smart objects so I don't lose any of the property whenever I'm increasing or reducing the size of the image. Next thing I want to do here is to reduce the brightness of the image. And while I'm doing that, I want to increase the contrast just a little bit. I need to do this just so I can see clearer. There you have it. Some of the details came back. Perfect. Now, if you look at the left eyes, it, this is more open compared to the right. So I would like to make a duplicate of the left eye and replace it with the right eye. Okay. Now let me give this layer a title. Now we're going to make a duplicate of the layer crop and then we'll mask it. Cool. Now we'll flip this horizontally. Nice. Now let's position it and get it ready for masking. We already discussed the concept of masking in the last tutorial. I'm going to place a link to that in my description. So you can check that out. The whole idea here is for us to just take out all the skin here. We just only need the eyes. We leave the brow. We leave every other thing. We just need the eyes alone in there. I think we're close to it. Now let's position it properly right there. I think we have something there. Okay, take it out. Good yep this is it yeah a closer view yeah put it right there great i think we're good that's it we're done with this easy like that yeah this is fun yeah let's reduce the boom okay that was quite easy the next step is for us to separate the image from the background using the layer mask technique in photoshop i'll be explaining this in subsequent tutorials for now we'll just have to speed pass it so just follow through as we breeze through this one now it's time for us to separate our image from the background i'll be using the select mask technique for this one what i'll be doing is to just tweak the settings until i get what it is i'm looking for firstly we we'll want to take out the background and then later we're going to take out the body so basically i'll just keep tweaking the settings use the refined edge brush and just keep doing all that stuff hoping that the ai god or the photoshop god listens to me and gives me a very good result Okay, now this looks good. This looks fair enough. I think we're good enough. I had to do some adjustments and even do some more masking just to get the perfect result that I was looking for. Photoshop has been doing really great. We pray that the AI God blesses us with good results today. <laughs> I'm just joking.
I'll be covering this topic of separating an image from the background in another tutorial in, in detail. So for this one, let's just speed pass through it as we proceed. Let's go. Okay, our image is ready here. Boom. Now that we have the background out of the way, the next thing is for us to work on the skin. It's going to be a black and white art, so we're going to convert into black and white in Camera Raw. And also we're going to try to sharpen up the, the skin and just prepare the skin for the tree texture. Basically, that's what it is. So we're going to treat it that way. We're not trying to make the skin pleasant here. No, we're trying to really like make it look scraggled as possible. So that's the idea. We take it into camera raw and basically what we're gonna do is to just reduce the exposure increase the contrast and then you know reduce the highlight just a little bit so we can see some more details on the skin increase the whites and then bring in the dark add a little bit of dark in it the idea here is for us not to create a skin that really looks pleasant no we want to over exaggerate all the details on the skin so we can create a texture that feels like it's like the back of a tree Okay, there you go. The whole group is taking shape. Now we'll reduce the brightness just a little bit and increase the contrast just a nudge. Now time to bring in the tree. First thing I want to do is to align the tree. Once that is aligned properly, I'll change the layer blend to pin light. Now the pin light blend has helped us reveal the layer behind and now I can even align it properly. It's time for us to mask it. We already understand the concept of masking. For those that don't understand the concept of masking, I discussed that in the last tutorial. You can check that in the description down below. All right, now let's duplicate this layer. We duplicate the layer, but we change the layer blend back to normal. So we keep masking until we get what we want. This part is quite subjective. There's no one way to do it, but the whole idea is for us to mask out some details while we leave some details. So basically the eyes is very important for us to leave the eyes. It's very important for us to leave the area of the teeth and the beards, but some parts of the skin, we want it to look like um, there's a tree texture on the skin so that was part of the reason why we treated the skin this way we treated it so while we are masking the, out the parts of the skin we keep the brush really soft that's the opacity is not 100 percent whenever we are masking out the skin the groot the happy groot is almost ready I think it's really coming alive. I really do think so. Next thing I want to do is to bring in another tree. I want to put this part beside the ear and I also want to do the same thing. On the other side so we're just gonna mask it and blend it let it blend in seamlessly
for your masking technique for this one we always make sure that we're using a soft brush it's very very important so that we can the skin can blend into the tree We send it into camera raw just to increase some details so all we did was to increase the clarity and also sharpen it a little more so it can blend in easily with the old man we also did the same thing for the tree on the other side of his ear and that worked for us time for us to bring in the plant so for me these are just the interesting parts i just bring in the plants i resize the plants i mask some parts out i just try to treat it and position it the play, the way i want it to be and that's just the concept of the um having the plants in there i just want a little bit of plant right on top of the tree that signifies life and life for him also signify wisdom because it's at the part of the head where the brain also is so basically i'm just trying to show that this old man here though he's old though he looks broken he still has wisdom to share with the world next thing i want to do is for us to bring in the field we're going to bring in the field just to add a little more grain on the wood in the bring in the field delete the backgrounds select object to take out the background separate the background and then we can now change the layer blend and then we change the layer blend to soft light and that does this for us and then we can continue masking yeah once again you just mask until you feel like you are satisfied with what you have there's no there's no rule to this it's just whatever your eyes and your heart or your mind is telling you that's what you go with so you just mask until you're satisfied i think the position of my layer is not right so i have to take that bit i have to take that down i need to put it right behind yes exactly that's it put it right behind the the, the plant on top there so we keep masking let me name this okay cool now we keep masking Also, I have to adjust the layer style, the sliders in there, just so I can, you know, make the field blending the wood a little more, make it more realistic. That's just the idea. The next thing for us to create a grey gradient background. At the very first layer, you just see the effects, and then you create a and go to gradient, and then you create your gradient background. Next thing we want to do is to create the base with the shadow, and you can do that with you just your brush, and you adjust the brush, and just simply just pick a color that goes with 
that you feel comfortable with which is obviously black and then that does that next thing you want to do is to bring in your cloud for the cloud i use the brush for the cloud so that's just it there's no rule to this also added some birds very important just to show life at the top of our groots i just just to show life at the top of happy groots and then i can just add it, an eagle at the side you know the eagle is very symbolic because it's very strong bird so and our happy groots is a very strong man he has seen a lot of things with his eye his eyes are a little sunken though but he's seen a lot of things and that's the reason why lastly we're gonna take care of his teeth that's quite easy we select some part of the teeth we don't want no more and then we fill that in with um black and that automatically takes out the teeth and that's just the idea there which is which i find interesting of course we have to adjust with the brush just to make sure that we don't have sharp edges and you know bring in some parts just to make sure that it's a little realistic and it's, it doesn't look forced just to make sure that it's a little realistic that's just basically it Whew, this took a lot man let's take out this part again okay we adjust it again and we're almost done really we're almost done okay guys it the happy groot is ready Thank you very much for staying with me until this very end if you have stayed with me until this very end you are the real mvp thank you very much the happy growth is done i really like it yes i created it and yes i really do like it the idea is for us to have an human that is made up of a tree and with a little bit of life on his head that is ready to still share with the world if you are from where i'm from when i said that life on his head is like a metaphor in yoruba all right now thank you very much for staying with me until this very end my name is dari the creator until next time peace